Hi beautiful hearts, so today what I would like to do in this recording is share with you some information about cords and also share with you a energy healing on cord dissolving. So if you're interested in that then stick around until the very end. So during my healing process and understanding my place in the healing world so being able to tap into other people's energy fields i realized that part of my process was sharing with others how to cut cords or what i now class as dissolving cords because it's a it's a two-step process so i've shared this with um, a few clients and people over the years and when you hear cord cutting, it sounds very brutal and a lot of people get very scared because it's not as if they actually want that person totally cut out of their life because it sounds so final when we say we're cutting cords. But in actual fact, there is cords that are not good for us that form um, between two people or sometimes energetically between places or things or animals as well. And there is also these other cords, which I call invisible threads that keep us all connected. And those invisible threads that keep us all connected are impossible to cut or dissolve. That, that cannot happen, no matter how much you may want it to happen, no matter how much you may try, you cannot dissolve or cut those ones. But there is other ones that form over time and can keep us stuck karmically with another person or with a place and those ones if it is the right time to do so you can cut them and free yourself from that karmic cycle with others what i found on my own journey is what can sometimes happen that can make a relationship toxic is if you have learned a, a karmic lesson on your own or with another person and then another person comes into your life who hasn't learned that karmic lesson because on a subconscious level they realize that you have um, transcended that they will then anchor themselves into your energy field tether in and then start learning their karmic lesson about whatever the topic it is through you so you may be totally baffled and thinking well I've, I've been here before I've done this I've learned this lesson why am I experiencing this again with this person so it might be the same person or a different person and it might make no sense whatsoever and it is because a cord has actually formed between you and this other person and by dissolving that cord you are then able if you choose to do so to have a healthier relationship with that other person without that karmic lesson being involved and because they haven't learned it it will come forward again and they will go through that cycle with a different person or you may decide you don't want that person in your life at all and again, exactly the same thing will happen, just you will not be in their life. And over time, we've spent time with, with a person, a family member um, or a friend, we get these cord connections um, between the heart, especially the heart forms strong heart connections with others. And we can also have them in our third eye, our spine, um, uh, a sexual organ area just about anywhere to be honest your throat um, and again it is for you to decide if you want to cut those cords if they it has become very toxic or heavy or interfering in your relationship with that person you may find that cord cutting or cord dissolving as I call it 
is um, something that you want to explore or look into. So it doesn't have to be big and scary. It doesn't mean that you're cutting that other person entirely out of your life if you don't want to do that. But it does mean that you are freeing up a healthier space where you can interact in a healthier way. You can form a deeper bond or deeper connection if you choose to do so. Or where you, you don't have this um, parasitic type of energy going on between you and that other person as well. They're not tethered into your energy field or vice versa. You may not be tethered into their energy field. It's freer, it's lighter and it allows you both to grow and evolve at a much um, faster pace as well because you're not looping or cycling or going round and round if that makes sense. So what I would like you to think about if you are a visual person is the roots of a tree. So just as we have above the soil branches reaching out generally on most trees up to the sky, we also have that same system going on on the root system. And what happens is the trees will connect through the network of roots under the soil. And it's very much the same for humans as well, only it's, it's not quite so solid in form, it's more energetically where we have this invisible thread where we are all connected. And like I said, it's impossible to cut that invisible thread. It's in impossible to cut that cord. We are all connected. We will continue to all be connected no matter what. But then there is other cords that form that can be cut and dissolved and um, can help us then to form healthier relationships with one another because it becomes like a feeding tube in a way um, at times and that's where the parasitic ent energy um, can come from where another person is ciphering energy maybe intentionally maybe not intentionally it might be uh, on a subconscious level um, but like I said it, it's very much an anchoring going on or a ciphering of energy and of course that's that's not healthy we want everything to remain balanced and even and a very much an even energy exchange so i hope that's made sense i hope it's now not as scary or daunting to go into um a cord dissolving energy healing for you so if you have found that a relationship has perhaps become um toxic or it is a karmic relationship and you don't want to go around that loop anymore with that other person or you would like to form a healthier relationship with that person you've realized that they maybe are anchoring into your energy um and you you, you just don't you don't want to go around it anymore you've learned you've learned as much as you can you've already done that and um yeah this, this is where the core dissolving really comes into play so if you would like to take part in this, please make sure that you're not driving and that you can find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. You might want to pause this recording for a moment and set up a or create a sacred space. So you might want to light a candle or get some incense burning, cleanse the space. Um, you might want to use a sound bath or healing frequencies, singing bowl, crystals, whatever you want. It's entirely up to you, but just make that a beautiful sacred space for healing. And please make sure that you drink water, that you are fully hydrated before going through this core dissolving energy healing and also afterwards as well. Allow all fears to leave your energy field as well. We, we really don't want the ego's voice or fears to interrupt this because, like I said, it's not a scary thing. It's actually a very healthy thing that we are doing. But the ego might put a blocker on what we are wanting to do. So ask your ego just to step aside, bring forward your higher self to really take over in this space here. So I invite you to make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. Take a 
Take some nice deep breaths. Really come into this present now moment. What I'm doing now is I'm just energetically clearing this space. Making sure only the highest frequencies are coming in to assist us and those of the purest and highest consciousness are coming in to assist as well. So I ask you to just to go into your imagination and create a circle around you. So you may want to use candles or flowers, a particular type of crystal, stones, sticks. Remember this is your sacred healing circle that you're creating. So it's entirely up to you. You cannot get it wrong. Whatever you intuitively feel is right for you today is absolutely right for you today. And you're just going to stand in the center of your healing circle once you've created it. And then thinking about the person that you would like to do the cord dissolving energy healing with, the person that you have in mind, invite the other person into your space, and see them walk up to your circle and stop just before it. So we don't want this person to actually enter into your healing circle right now. We're just inviting them to come into your present moment awareness. And know that you have both at a soul level agreed to meet here today to take part in this energy healing and cord dissolving ceremony. You both know that this is in the best interest of all involved. And there is only the purest frequency around both of you. If there has been a build up of toxic energy in the past or up until this present moment. It's not there right now. You are both consciously aware that this is a space for healing. Allow in your guides, your angels, your higher selves, source, divine intelligence and any other energies that you would like to assist you today. And the first thing that we are now going to do is invite in divine intelligence to help us to identify the cords that are ready to be cut and dissolved today. Divine intelligence lights up all the ones ready to be cleared today. Let your intuition choose and guide 
how to go about disconnecting you both from these cords. You may want to use gold giant scissors, a sword, light, flames, whatever feels best and most comfortable for you is exactly right for you. Invite divine intelligence to guide you to the very first chord. And once the disconnection has taken place, we are going to send light down both sides of the chords. Watch as it travels straight to the very root of its creation by dissolving right to the very root of its creation it prevents any further growth it prevents this cord from ever appearing or attaching again Watch as the light dissolves every part of the cord so that all that remains is light filled with healing light codes to restore, to repair, to heal, to recode and cleanse. Allow divine intelligence to guide you in identifying all the cords ready to be dissolved today. And repeat the process allowing light to travel straight to the very root of its creation watching as the light dissolves every part of the cord It could be that not all cords are ready to be dissolved today. Scan and check. Your angels and guides are holding space. doing an amazing job you are helping both of you to lead a happier and healthy life moving forward As divine intelligence lights up each chord, you feel lighter and freer. And your heart is growing, getting stronger. Filling up 
with more love, feeling less burdened. Your whole energy is feeling stronger. Pulling back and calling back your life force energy and giving back in return life force energy to the other soul who is joining us today. You now get to choose if you would like to interact with the soul who stands before you. Do you have anything to say to them? Would you like to share anything with them today? I will give you a few minutes to exchange any thoughts or any feelings. It's now time to close down this energy healing. Thank the soul who stands before you today for showing up and sharing energy and involvement in this cord dissolving. You can invite them into your healing circle and hug them and say goodbye or you may choose not to have them in the circle at all just thank them and ask them now to please leave the space as the cord dissolving is now complete for this session Please do not worry if you didn't cut and dissolve all the cords today. It does not mean that this person is forever tethered in your energy field. It simply means you may have to do this a few times and that not all the cords were ready in this present moment. Let the other soul go now. And fill your healing circle with light, with gratitude, with peace, with love and healing. Thank your guides, your angels, your higher self, source, divine intelligence for assisting us today. Know that you have gifted yourself 
and this other soul something amazing today that will benefit both of you on a human level and on a soul level. When you're ready, open your eyes. You might want to shake yourself off or wiggle your toes and fingers. Please be gentle with yourself for the rest of the day. Drink plenty of water, stay hydrated. Send you so much love. Bye for now. Peace.